far away. Alright guys, welcome back to Steel and Wheels. This is part two of the elevator build. As you can see, this ladder is just rubbish. Rubbish. So we are gonna finish off this. With that said, keep powering on. We'll get this done. Hopefully we'll get it done sooner than later. We can start on the inside cradle bit, maybe part three, and we can start putting some stuff up top. All right guys, let's get it done. <laughs> it's dark, but we're getting it done, guys. Hey, what do we want? Four, seven. four, seven, four, five, Jack, for the first cut. Take me down to Mel's, man. Four, seven, four. Yeah, sealed of approved. Four, seven, four, five. Approved, yeah. Approved. Got a bit of a tail on it. It's good. It's good to work with. Look at this hole. I know, it's awesome. Okay. How good is that? I just love the pen cut. I just love all the, everything about it. <laughs> everything about that pen is just awesome. Draws a nice line. It's accurate. Right. That's what I was struggling with the chalk. Yeah. You're like, you're fucking trying to do a mill. That's because you're supposed to trim the chalk to a point. Yeah, but not when you drop it on the ground and break it. Then right. you just trim the cut off again. Yeah, well, well measure the rest of them. You're another 4 7 4 5 man. Fuck do you want? So We're busy doing manly things. I'm doing testosterone stuff. <laughs> <aren't we? laughs> Just the fact that I'm pulling it out of a holster makes me feel gangster. <laughs> You'll be a YouTube superstar, do you? Are you still good? Yeah, mate. <laughs> I got batteries for days. We can just record all night, mate. Mm -hmm. What? You're gonna stick one in my bedroom again? Yeah. That was weird last time. Was it? Oh, okay. Fuck. Well, lucky you told me because I was gonna do that. Yeah. <laughs> That's why I got the new holster for the GoPro. <laughs> <laughs> um, Four seven four five. <coughs> four nine. Four nine four five. Four nine seven five. Is that sarsaparilla, man? That's sarsaparilla, Jack. <laughs> Alright guys, so these are our four legs. Oh fuck, we haven't done an intro. Yes, oh, did we? I'll be too. Yep. Yeah, alright, that's just good. Alright, as you can see I got some safety spectacles on. And uh, these are our four legs to go up for the elevator. Um, we've got to make four like 10 degree cuts. So it's like 10.4. I think we they're roughly at somewhere between 10 and 11. At 14 mil, square to 14 mil, made in triangle, is about what we want. Um, because that will not cut accurate, and this is fairly critical, I'm gonna do it with the grinder by hand, which is gay, but it is what it is. So, 
We'll get these cut, we'll clean up all four ends. All the ends, not all four, there's only two ends, so we'll cut each end. And then we will cut, clean each end after that. That'll be good. Alright, I'm going to delete half that, but let's do it. I'm thinking, Jack, we take a look at uh, the four pieces of material we got here, all right? The yeah. legs that we were at. Oh, gonna cut, it was so perfect. And uh, I don't know if you can see the issue here, but uh, he was supposed to cut all four pieces from the pre-cut end, which, I mean, if it was these two, that is. These two, Clearly he was supposed to cut this end, not that end. Yeah, look. But look, sarsaparillas do this to people, so uh, we'll just go with it. All right guys, we've got our legs cut out. Um, it's looking a lot bigger than what I sort of framed in my head now that it's on the floor. And We've got to lift this up manually by hand once we build this, so that's going to be an excursion, I think. Exciting one. But uh, basically, we've got to get, we're not exactly sure how we're going to approach it yet. It's probably going to be a little bit of trial and error, probably going to break tacks off and have to re tack, re square. I think it might have multiple times. We may get a first go, that, that'll be a fluke. Don't think we did that professionally. That is completely unprofessional and 100% fluke. Uh, yeah, so basically, we'll put one leg up against that corner. One against that corner, we tap them off square to that base, because that base should, that is the base, so it will be square to these posts. This one, we, we think it maybe will tap it in place square as well, and then maybe try and roll this whole thing over, basically do a 180 frame that way, horizontally, and um, see if we can't get the other side on that way. Um, yeah, it is a bit, a bit bigger than my brain told me, even though it's the length we asked for. But we'll see how we go and stay tuned if we get exciting. All right guys, we've got the two first bars in place. It's all sort of tacked off and sort of to the millimeter, pretty close to the green one, it's all sort of square to that end. That end, well, it's not square, so you can't square it off, but degree-wise, we've sort of measured straight across to see if we're the same width as that one, and it's the same. Um, and it's square upright, so that's good enough. That'll be fine. Um, now we're going to try and roll this bad boy over to the next side so we can sort of attempt to get the next piece in, which is a little bit daunting, but we'll give it a go. This is all going to go really well. Yeah, look, it's definitely a double ended sword. <laughs> yeah. Alright, guys, let's see Big swallows, mate. <laughs> Thank you. 
out of my control. I don't think it is. Like, we keep putting it there. We didn't want to put it there. We were told to put it there. Different. By the man. Alright guys, so that's over there drying so we can roll it to paint the other side. What we're going to do now is that thing there needs to come out and be shifted. So we'll just move it for now, once it's in place, then we get up in there and we'll put it back. Till then, we'll remove it. Now Jack is up there doing it because man's nine foot tall and he can actually reach the goddamn roof. Jesus, I, I can't jump and slap the roof, but he just reach up, touch it, so he can just have a go, just getting it. So let's let's let him do him. We can get a different bed, Jack. What size bed do you want? I want six. Six? It's a bit of a hole around Did somebody say, oh, that's the reason for that? Oh, wait, you know. Hey? There's a reason for that, Jack. Yeah. That's probably still alive. I just need to give you a nine. Don't do it. Yeah. This is the one he wants. Yeah, probably. 
Nan. I guess possible. Alright guys, as I have said before, the theme's gotta go. We could've got a grinder out, but Jack assures me this is more fun. You see the thing is correct, so we're gonna go with the plasma cutter. Uh, don't do it in pluggers and singlet. Safety glasses, it's probably like a welding helmet, long sleeves, and boots or sword. Starting to stop the and burnt, it's gonna hurt, but uh, for you guys, the pleasure of viewing. This is a pivotal moment, man. <laughs> All right. What are we doing, man? Yeah. All right, so we've painted it. As you can see, it is the world's best paint job. You couldn't get any better than this, I think, for about $11. Yeah. Yeah, it's the world's best paint job for $11. It's orange. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and it is orange and still partially blue and some black and some every other color. Sun, and it's got runs and stuff, but painted, it shouldn't rust, it's all that matters. So, now we're gonna put the winch in it, and then I've organized to get a whole heap of guys over here to try and help us fleece this up in the air so we can put it in the hole. So we'll put this winch in, and then we'll wait for the boys to arrive, and we'll get this place, this thing centered. Wow. 
want to get a little bit of top point in there? Yeah. Just take the top point out. Just down, yeah. I had to free up some space for you, so the bottom. Sounds good to me. Oop, that's definitely not called back up. Seven eight. It's good. I got my elbow calibrated last week actually, so it's accurate. That's good. <laughs> oh, I didn't hear that one click. Yeah, yeah, yeah alright, that's sweet then. Well, you want to do a, a snap on one? <laughs> 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 it's not all fun and games, is it, Ben? No, mate. Sometimes. It actually looks alright in the camera because they can't see it. Yeah, but if I zoom in, oh, I feel like it. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> oh yeah, that's not bad. Paint job yet, not bad at all. Just zoom in a little bit. Oh, what's that? Oh, oh, oh. It's getting worse. Decent. This is what we're working with. Have a go at the zoom on this thing. Hey Ben. <laughs> that is really, really unsettling. <laughs> So we got a bit bored, Jack asked if he could take the YZ for a spin while we essentially wait for paint to dry so he's out there having a strap on it and we'll uh, yeah we'll get back to the wire, the frame when it's dry and the guys get it they give us a lift. Till then we'll see what Jack can do on it. Alright guys, we're going for the big lift, put it in hold, we've got a heap of boys here, Let's see how we go. Hey guys, I'm really sorry, when we got back up to the house and downloaded the footage, we realised a fair bit of it had been corrupted in the files, we're not exactly sure what went wrong there, um, but essentially all our attempts at lifting the frame into place are gone. I'm really sorry guys, I look forward to showing you that. Alright guys, as you can see, she's back on the ground, it um, doesn't fit. I thought I took into account enough of uh, shortening to make it fit like on the angle as it comes up it grows. Um, I thought I cut enough out of it but I haven't, so we're going to have to chop. We're going to chop this out here, chop 100 mil out of it and then um, hopefully it'll fit, we'll have a second go at it. Heartened. Me and Jack have been going pretty hard all weekend trying to get it done, so 
yeah, a little bit disheartening to Roshan off it. But we'll get a cut and we'll see how we go from there. All right. Alright guys, as you can see it's in place, we've got long legs up here, we've done a bit of trimming and whatnot to make sure it fits properly, he's got the winch up there, he's got all the place because uh, I don't fit and I can't reach it because I'm short and he's tall. Um, but now, I'm going to climb inside the strap and we're going to give it the, we'll be a little bit generous, 130 kilo test, test run. I bring it up for the day. Stop watching. Now see you on the next episode.